Welcome. Are you ready to become a LinkQ expert? Look no further. In this comprehensive video, I have gathered 100 thoughtful selected question and answer that will guide you through every aspect of LinkQ, regardless of your current skill level, whether you are a complete beginner or experienced developer. This video has something for everyone. I will start from fundamental, covering link use syntax, query expression, and the various query operator. As we progress, I will explore more advanced concepts like complex querying scenarios, performance optimization, and advanced link use technique. I will illustrate my ex explanation with practical example, allowing you to see link you in action and apply it to real world scenarios. Whether you are looking to solidify your understanding of link you or expand your expertise, this is your go to resource. Join me on this journey and let's master link you together. Let's start and jump to Visual Studio Code. Visual Studio, sorry, no code. So I had divided this, I had already uh, wrote all the code, all 100 questions code. I will what I will do, I will go one by one and let you know. So the, our first question is right link query using syntax method. Syntax method is basically by using dot where dot select dot whatever the we are writing uh, after object we are writing a dot then it's a syntax method let's run this so let's remove the debugger let's see here you have two four six eight ten so uh, using syntax method we have this like uh, we have object list of integer type number and uh, we are trying to get even number from that so we are using dot where condition now let's uncomment uh, let's comment this and and let's move to the second question so the se our second question is write a link query using syntax Let's uncomment this. We have same thing as the previous example, but here we are using another way. That is link query syntax with uh, from number in a numbers where this is something like something look like a SQL statement. Let's run this. So the result is same, same result we are getting. Now let's move to the next question. Let's comment this. Let's move to the next question. Third question is defer execution in link view example. Defer execution, uh, execution means it will create an object, but it won't execute. Till here, the query is holding nothing. It's it's selected all the uh, all the even number and store it into a query, but it won't execute at the time of writing this. It will execute only only when you iterate. When you iterate this, when you iterating, it will exe uh, execute because in our list we have one, two, three, four, five only. So according to this condition. Uh, query will hold only 2 and 4. Later on, we are modifying our source data and adding 6 to it. So, see the result. So, the result is 2, 4 and 6. So, you got that point that 6 is also came into picture because effort query execution never execute query on 
writing it will execute only when you are iterating you can iterate by using for each or by using dot to list dot to list is also iterating your query let's move to the fourth question immediate execution in link queue so this is this query will execute immediately the same scenario i am adding uh, six at uh, after this dot to list so dot to list is executing immediately so now let's run this now see two and four only came in a picture so why because it's executed over here and stored it into a query later we are adding into a our object so it won't uh, get in a query so depending on your situation which kind of execution you are preferring go with that number five lambda expression and how are they used in a link queue so let's see through the lambda expression let's uncomment this we have a list of integers number even number we are storing by using deferred ex execution we have a string ls pop now we are uh, uh, we are using lambda expression for projection like a name such that this lambda expression name such that name length so uh, we are storing that into a name length for even number we are iterating and for name length we are writing this so uh, here also you can see the lambda expression n such that n n modulus 2 equal to 0 we are we are extracting only those number which is modulus uh, modulus uh, result is zero that is reminder is zero n modulus 2 so let's see in a action so you have 2 4 and 5 3 7 2 4 and 5 3 7 so 5 3 7 for this uh, string and 2 and 4 for the where condition by using lambda expression let's move to the next question six number uh, illustrate join operation so let's see how the join operation works for this we need we have a two class that is employee class and department class let's see the definition of employee class so the employee class have a id name and department id and the department class have a id and name so let's go to the question again we are adding uh, some uh, constant some uh, value to the employee id1 alice 2 pop and so on so same with the department and here also we have, we added a department of that particular employee now we are going to see how join uh, how we will join employee and department based on department id so we are using from employee in employees join department in departments we are joining with the departments on what on employee dot department id equal to department dot department id and we are trying to print name of the employee and department and, and their respective department so let's see let's start this so you can see you can see here employee ls department engineering department id 1 is engineering bob department sales so second id is sales and bob and charlie's department is engineering again so department id 1 is engineering so it's showing engineering and so on hope it's clear now let's comment this and move to the next question let's go to the seventh one and it has an inner join and outer join in link queue so uh, what is the fundamental of inner join and outer join in link queue let's uncomment this code uh, let's see we have same employee and department id by using inner join we are 
at, at previously we already did this inner join so this is inner join and by using outer join outer join means on employee id from ed in employment department default if empty see the result and the difference then i will uh, again come to the question so what is outer join and inner join let's see let's put some some differentiate kind of thing so can we can differentiate the output console dot right line let's have this string over here let's run this now we can have uh, two different output we can see so by using inner you can see by using inner inner query we have only three result alice bob and charlie alice bob and charlie because the department id 3 is not exist in our scenarios you see at the first we do not have department id 3 and that's why uh, the david david name is not coming here because of the inner both table must hold the value in a outer c in a outer we have all one two three one two three here so alice have a engineering bob have a sales second one then engineering then master uh, the command which we are using over here we are on employee id equal to employee id into employee department so employee department we are storing uh, the uh, we are uh, joining on employee department id now from ed in employee department so the ed must be default if empty whatever the default id that will if it is empty then default id will place over here cover here you see if ed is not equal to null ed name is na let's uh, remove this third line let's remove this third line let's command this and then let's remove this comma So see, uh, here again we do not have a third department ID, but the David have. So now we are printing what? NA. What the clear difference or not? So this part is um, doing the display of outer join. This part is basically doing outer join. Let's move further ahead. Let's remove this let's put a comma over here again let's move to the next question let's comment this and move to next question if you have any queries or uh, confusion you can ask me in a comment i will try to uh, i will try to answer as my as much i can uh, as much i will so let's see uh, seventh question so we have a student class let's see the uh, definition of class so inside of a student class we have id name is score and subject so these are the properties of this class but we are using only three property id name and is we are here uh, to perform grouping in liquid so uh, how we do a grouping in link by using keyword dot group by this dot group by so let's see the result how it's okay so we are we have a different is different is alice have a 20 bob have 21 charlie have 20 david have 22 so it is showing like 20 we have a two a student alice and charlie 21 we have a bob and 22nd we have a david hope it's clear by using group by by using group by keyword you can use group by in link keyword. 
let's comment this and move to the next question question number nine anonymous type in link anonymous type in link let's uncomment this section and let's see so uh, anonymous type is basically what we have a id name and is now we are defining one type category this is anonymous type the category should be assigned like if the age is greater than 21 then it is adult otherwise it will be minor so the output should be charlie will be in a minor and alice will be in a minor and bob and david will be in a adult category so let's uh, run this and let's see again so this category we do not have any uh, field in a student class now we are uh, printing a category according to our uh, condition so this is anonymous type alice category is a minor because of age 20 uh, if it is 21 more than 21 or equal to then it will be in a adult field okay let's move to the next question let's comment out this section let's move to the question number 10 let keyword in a link queue. so what is let keyword basically let's see so the let keyword is also uh, the things which we did in an anonymous type over here we are uh, joining two two uh, two variable into one like a name and is and the full name will have hold name and is so let's see by running this code what will be the output so see You have Bob in a bracket, you have 21, full name of a student, age is greater than 21. So here, where condition, we are going to select only the student which age is greater than 21 and we have a string formation over here by using dollar. So first a student name will come, then brackets, opening brackets, then age and then closing brackets. The full name will be something like bob 21 david 22 the same here in output so see bob 21 opening brackets closing brackets so here we we, we can see an example of uh, a string formation also so this is a string formatting by using dollar keyword so let's comment this and move to the next question question number 11 handle exception in link query when we write a code error will come that is never no no any uh, uh, program which doesn't have any error the error will obviously come so uh, we are writing in a try catch block in a query what we are giving a select and the function name the divide by zero and we are passing our number into a divide by zero we are selecting that number only which is returned by the divide by zero so divide by zero exception ex so this function let's move to the function definition let's go to the function so what this function is expecting number as a parameter and return integer if it is not then it will throw divide by zero exception divide by zero exception if the number is 0, then it will throw 0 divided by exception. Otherwise, it will divide 10 upon number. So, let's go uh, to again here. Now, uh, now, let's run this code. Now, see, 10, 5, 3, 2, 2. Result. So, our this if it is 10 5 3 2 2 how it came because it is taking a number and then 10 divided by number 10 divided by number so it is passing this all number 1 10 divided by 1 10 2 divided by uh, 10 divided by 2 5 10 divided by 3 10 divided by 4 10 divided by 5 so because of that the result was like that 
Let's comment this and move to the next question again. Question number 12. Into keyword into in a link today. What is the use of into keyword and how we use this? So let's see. We had already seen this. Whatever the result we are trying to get up, like over here we have a string uh, object, list of a string object fruit which is holding apple, banana, cherry, dates, and uh, and so on. Uh, we are covering here and through the select statement we are only selecting the fruit which length is greater than 5 that means dates will not come so whatever the result that is goes to the long fruit and long fruit order by long fruit descending order and we are trying to print it into a upper face let's see the result see the, you can see the result. So, whatever the result we are putting into a long fruit and then we are uh, saying that the order by long fruit is sending and whatever that is coming, we are selecting only long fruit and make it into a upper case. That is how the into uh, keyword is working over here. Let's illustrate. Let's comment this. Let's move to the next question. Perform pagination operation in the link query. So, what is pagination? Pagination, here uh, we have a, uh, a small data, but generally when we have a big data set, we need pagination, otherwise it will take long time to page a query. So, uh, over here what we are doing, by using a skip and take keyword, we uh, implement pagination. So, page number 2 and page size is 2. So, page size is 2 means what? Uh, per page 2 record and we are on second page so the second page second page means this two record on first page these two record on second page so uh, our result should contain like cherry and dates so let's see in an example so see cherry and dates page two two item how this is coming by skipping skipping page number minus one that is one skip one till 0 and 1 till bananas we are speaking is keeping 1 into page size 1 into page size means see 2 minus 1 1 1 into 2 2 so we are skipping 2 record first and second till bananas we are skipping and we are taking a page size after that whatever will come so page size is 2 so we are taking 2 record of it okay I hope this is clear. So, let's comment this and move to the question number 14. I know this video will go uh, long, but it has a lot of uh, fruitful example uh, later section also. This, these are the introduction example. So, we have uh, the skip and take example. We have already seen this. Let's uh, see it again. So, skip 3 record and take 5. So, uh, let's see in an example. So, what is this uh, statement is doing? It's keeping three records, first, second, third. From the fourth, it will display five records, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, four, five, six, seven, eight, till five here. So, it will display five records as well. Uh, I hope uh, skip and take is clear for you. Let's comment this. Let's uncomment another one. So, eager loading. Now, we are going into a deeper section. So, what is eager loading basically? See. We have already DB context defined there. So, we have a DB context. We have a uh, table that is author and uh, this is eager loading is basically load option database load option load option so the load option we have what data load and a is book and query for the author so see we are we are querying author load with author and author uh, we are trying to uh, list to list by using to list let let's see uh, first in a 
output window and then I will let you know. see here. Author William Shakespeare book. It is coming. So see here. Author we 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 are not fetching book at all. We are not fetching book at all. But we have author dot book here. So the author have author author wise book authors. We are extracting from the author. And this is the table structure uh, we have. Let's go to the. Let's go to SQL Server. Let's go to the SQL Server. We can have we have uh, these record there. This author and book is there. So let's go to the SQL Server and connect SQL Server here. Let's connect this. Now a database link you table. So this is the author. We have select query and we have book. So uh, this author William Shakespeare, George Bernard Shaw, Emmett Hemingway, Robin Nutt Dagor, and these are the books written by that author. Author ID and publish here. So uh, here. What we are doing, we are doing eager loading. We have a uh, key constraint over here. So uh, you can see the author ID. Author ID is a foreign key in a. This author ID is a primary key in a author table, but this is foreign key in a book table. We are selecting author. We are selecting author here. We are selecting author here, and their book is loaded as a eager loading. Okay. So book is also loaded, and if we run again, and you can see the list, we can access their book because of relationship. So the William Shakespeare book is this, uh, George Bernard's book is this, Rabindranath Tagore book is this, Charles Darwin Darwin book is this, Zen book is this. So I think we are good now. Uh, let's comment this eager. And let's uncomment another. Let's go to the section number sixteen. Lazy load. So what is this basically now? Let's see by the seeing example. Again, I have already declared this DB context at the top. So uh, again, declaring, giving error. So let's start. Let's see the result. See, you see the result is almost same because because of this uh, all everything. Let's expand this also. So we have dot to list author dot to list in author author name and here we are doing lazy loading. On here we are doing lazy book. So book dot title and this. Now let's comment this area also and move to the next section. Let's move to the next question. Question number seventy. So this is handle transaction into a link. Transaction. How transaction is handled? Let's uncomment uncomment this. Let's uncomment this. Let's move it in there. We have a John Doe book is sample book author. We are assigning this and we submit change uh, by using transaction scope. So if the book is not entered or author is uh, have some error, then it will uh, not uh, you know it will not save into a database. So let's uh, see. Multiple database operation we are doing. So let's close this. So perform multiple database operation within the transaction. So all data like author we are entering into insert and submit author book. If any fails, anyone fails, 
it is re uh, uh, you know re back back to the normal way. So let's see in a sequel whether that book is in book is now we have in our database sample book and ID is seven. See in a this we have a seven number author ID is on there. So now we have this already implemented handle transaction into a link. How we can handle a transaction, how we can insert the record, delete record, mm, selecting already seen, insert, delete, modify, these all we can do by using link not so. So now go to the eight number handle transaction uh, into a link you to entity same same thing into entity framework same as question number 17 so we are not going to have this optimization in link what is optimization of c basically optimization required a uh, few steps how your query get optimized so what you will do limit the number of database route so you include book also over here in author so you do not have to go again and again for a author and book so limit the number of database route as much as you can use projection whenever you require you require only the data which is uh, like say published here greater than like say 1950 only the books which is published after 1950 we do not require before one then that will be here use compiled query so the compiled query dot compiled see this compiled query this is this is link you compiled query and this is sealed class so uh, this have a lambda expression and all those so these are this one is a compiled use compiled query to compile db int author id first or default. So uh, author id whatever author id we have in teaser that will comes and it is compiled query. So author and compiled query we are passing db context and author id as a one. Now avoid unnecessary sorting don't sort unnecessary if you do not require unnecessary sorting so order by published year and then title like skip 10 and take 5 so skip 10 record and get a 5 record use pagination every time whenever you need what amount of record use that much only use pagination maximum use of pagination this will optimize these five step will optimize your linky query use compile query use pagination avoid unnecessary sorting use projection that means where class and that uh, then limit the number of database route so let's see uh, we do not have uh, here console dot write line i think let's see do we have no we do not have just an example I am giving. So you can uh, see this example. Now let's comment this again. Let's comment this out. And uh, we can go to the question number 20. We have a query composition in LinkedIn. Let's see how we do this. Let's see that. Uncomment this. So basically what we are doing, we are composing a query by chaining where we are selecting the person, uh, we have a person class, let's see the definition of person class. In a person class we have ID, name, age and country. Now let's move to the code. So we have uh, name zone, age 30, country, USA. Now we are, we are selecting only the person which age is 25. Now again on that filter we are again applying filter and the name which is start with j and we are selecting name so let's see the result so this this one is a query composition example so uh, we have uh, zone james and jessica 
so john james and jessica whose age is you know 25 greater than 25 you can have any uh, anything as I start with you can filter and again apply filter on that filter so this is query composition now let's move uh, comment this and let's move to the next uh, second next question question number 21 given array how do you find maximum value using link so uh, using link you how you can find the maximum so we have a function called dot max which is returning whatever the maximum value of integer in your uh, object that will return to the uh, as a value uh, in in uh, we can store it into a value so maximum value is 20 so this is 20 so by using max we can achieve this result let's comment this let's move to the next question 22 how do you filter a list of a string to retrieve only those a string which is specifically uh, later using linking so let's uncomment this we have a condition we have a condition which is starting with the some condition uh, some specific condition so let's uh, choose a starting letter as a b here in example we are choosing a starting letter as a b so our result will be only banana so let's see the result see banana so what we are doing over here we are uh, by using uh, this dot start with we are extracting the record let's comment this let's move to the next section let's move to this 23 let's minimize this given a list of object how do you sort them based on a specific properties so we are we are trying to sort on or sort the record on using a specific proper properties so let's uncomment this let's uncomment this we have this person again person class and we are sorting by using order by order by is used for sorting so sorting name according to the name we display so a b c d like whatever in a output so we have a sorted person name alice bob charlie david if we uh, move this david up then also it will come as a sorted order because of the order by condition let's comment this let's un go to the next question how do you count the number of element in a list that satisfy a certain condition using link so number of element counting number of element by using count method so link you have a count method if we are not passing anything if we are not passing anything here then it will count the number of this element this this is 3 and 3 6 7 8 so the result will be 8 but we have uh, some conditions so the num we are counting only the number which is greater than 5 so let's see uh, how many number we have 8 and 7 2 3 4 the answer should be 4 let's see the result let's see 5 greater than 5 is yes. 4 so we can do this by using count method count keyword let's comment this let's move to the next question given a list of a string how do you concatenate them into a single string using link so we have a list of a string object which is holding like a hello world and exclamation symbol and we need to print it into a concatenated list so by using aggregate we can do that current next and current plus so this is lambda uh, again lambda function so it's taking aggregate taking what current and then next and whatever the current plus next and then it goes to uh, uh, to this screen so uh, this concatenated string so we can do this by using aggregate also by using join method also so it's a simple a string dot join so a string have a method join we are joining what this by using 
is uh, empty uh, empty empty string and whatever the string we have inside of this we are joining all them so let's see the result both have the same result both will have the same result which way you can prefer you can go with that so hello world and both are safe let's comment this again you can do it by using join and by using aggregate which way you prefer you can do it how do you retrieve the first element of list that matches a specific condition? First element, we have a two condition, uh, two, uh, two keyword to get a first record by using first or by using first or record. This first, if you have a empty, uh, empty string, it will throw an error. This first or default, if you have a condition not satisfied, then it won't th uh, throw an error, it will uh, return default value. So let's see. We are trying to get a count which is number more than 5. So both have the same result because both we are trying to do same thing. So uh, you can go with the first or first or default. If you know that the condition at least have one record, then use this. Otherwise, this will throw. Uh, null exception error or uh, if you don't know then use first of default. first of default have uh, either default value or uh, the record value. now move to the 20 set now let's uncomment this section let's see the question first even a list of number how do you calculate the sum of all even number using link first of all we need to find all even number so all even number number is coming from here so till here we have all even number comes and dot sum dot sum this method is giving a sum of this entire number so let's see we have till 10 even number is 2 and uh, see the sum of even number is 30 so how this is 30 2 4 6 8 and 10 these are the even number, so these the sum of this even number is 30. Now let's close this, let's move to the next question. We have question number 28. How do you retrieve distinct? Again, it's coming distinct. You have 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 5, 5. You have to print, uh, you, are, you are trying to print only 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Not 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 5, 5. So, by using this keyword distinct, we can achieve the result. Let's compile this and let's see the result. So, you can see the result 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, we have a list which is holding only a distinct value, no duplicate. So, let's comment this. Let's move to the next question. Given list of object, how do you select a specific property from each object using link? Let's un uncomment this. Let's try to understand question first. How do you select a specific property from the each element? So, we have a product class. Let's see the definition of product class first. So, the definition is ID, name and category properties. Uh, these Price, these are the properties which is class product is holding now we are entering uh, we are uh, assigning some data to the product class like apple banana bean bread fruit bakery dairy these price these are the price so now uh, we are selecting a product which uh, product name and price and trying to print only we are trying to print the name as well as the price of the product so we can use like this product such that new and whatever you are you have like this you can use uh, another query method like uh, select and uh, select from product and uh, select name and price so on by using this uh, this method dot select product such that new and whatever the new uh, selected item you have that you can use over here Let's comment this and let's move to the next section. So the question number 30 we have, how do you check if all element is list satisfying a specific condition using link? 
so let's uncomment this number number is greater than zero so we are trying to get a number only such that such that number is greater than zero so all greater than zero all uh, all the number must satisfy the condition so by using this dot all we we can have this let's we you can use dot where also so uh, that uh, after that you have to check a condition whether the count is same or not all number greater than zero that is true so see you can check everything is greater than zero so all it's returning what see go to the definition of this all so it's returning boolean true or false whatever you are passing if it is verifying the condition it will return true otherwise it will return false let's comment this let's move to the next section 31 given a list of object with date time properties how do you group by the object by year use so let's uncomment this we are playing with the date time property now so we have like this event event class let's see the definition of event class first so we have event date and event name so we are entering uh, event date as new date and event name is event a b c d e f now we are grouping by with the year we have entered this so event date e dot event date dot year dot year you can access uh, dot year dot month date have a property which have a year month and day so you can access all three now let's run this and see the result see year 2022 you have two events year 2023 you have three events you can have C year 2022. You have two events, three. You have three events. Let's comment this and let's move to the next section. Question number 32 How do you perform left outer join between two list objects based on common properties? So let's see and comment this and how we perform left outer join. We had already seen this left outer join outer join now it is a left outer join means left this first table and the order is second table so see first see the definition of customer we have customer id and customer name and uh, the definition of order we have property which is order id order date order item let's see these are the property of the order. We are we are having orders and the list of order we are entering into this. Then we are have uh, we we are joining order customer ID uh, with the order with the customer ID equal to order customer ID and we make this result set into a customer orders. And from that customer order we are selecting what customer ID name order ID and order. Let's run this and see the result. Let's see this. Order A, Alice, B, Order B, Bob, Order D, Charlie, other Order B. So we are having like a result like this. So this section also let's, this is the example of place left out of joint. You can check if the record is not there. You can check uh, in uh, previously we have put uh, any uh, in a department ID. If you remember, you can check that thing also. Given a list of a string, how do you find the longest string using links? So which string is longest? How you will find by using max function. So whichever uh, over here, see, we are trying to get a length and which length is max. We are trying to get to that one. So by just uh, tweaking these things, the condition S, S, we are selecting S, uh, means, means the string, and such that S dot length. So uh, let's see. Maximum of the length is 10. 
So maximum of the length is this one, 3, 3, 6, 3, 9, 1, 10. Let's comment this and let's move to the next section. On 34, how do you retrieve top n element from the list based on a specific condition? So we are trying to get a top n record on depending on the condition. So uh, here the condition is P price, price should be, uh, you know, positive and take a top n. Top n means we have a variable 5. So we want to take a 5 uh, product which is, which price is order by descending. Means 15, 25 first, 15 and 10, then 8, uh, sorry, 20 is also the line. So it will show 5 record according to the price. So 20, 20, 25, 20, 15, 10 and 8. But we do not have 5, this product C. Because it not meet the condition, that's why it's not coming. So uh, by using top element, take, uh, you can use a take and then whatever top number of uh, element you want to uh, ex uh, extract, you can use that. Now let's move to the next question, 35. Given, given two list of object, how do you find the object that exists in a both list? Now, here uh, we need to find a common common uh, common number so we have a two uh, list of integer one one is holding 1 2 3 4 5 second one is holding 3 4 5 6 7 so which 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 are the common by using intersect method by using intersect this intersect is returning again as a enumerable uh, that is list also uh, enumerable of that result set and it is returning from the list 1 to list 2. So, list 1 and list 2, which one is common, it will return the number of that. So, let's see the result. We have 3, 4 and 5. You can see 3, 4 and 5. 3, 4 and 5 is the common, so it's coming. By using intersect, you can have a Result set like this. Move to the question number 36. Now, uh, question is, how do you calculate the average of a specific properties from the list of objects? So, average by using average method, we can use, we can uh, do uh, uh, this calculation of average by using this average keyword. Let's see. So, this is the result, average price 14. If you uh, add, sum up and divide by uh, 3, 3, 6, then you will get the same result. By using average, you can have an average. By using 37, let's move to 37. So, given a list of objects, how do you retrieve object with the highest and lowest value? So, these two property we have, uh, that is order by descending and order by, or you can use maximum and minimum, uh, max and min also uh, for a age. We are using like this, we can have, uh, we can have, uh, person name, so we, we have this like, uh, we are using by descending order or by this, we can, we can use by, uh, uh, where is and then mean and max also, but we can use by descending and uh, ascending order also. So let's see the result. Highest stage is David, lowest stage is Charles. So highest is first of default, first one we are um, getting, so 35 David and lowest is 20, that is Charles. Let's comment this section and let's move to the next one. How mean, uh, How do you perform distinct operation? We have already seen, sometimes we need only record the, in a, suppose say in a attendance, uh, in some uh, examination, there is a multiple, in this example we have at least is two, like a two person name, but we want only a distinct name. Bob have two, two times. So we'll have, we can use dot distinct. So we are using Alice, Bob and Charlie. So let's 
so we are selecting what name and that is distinct of the name by using distinct method we get the result now move to the 39 question 39th one now given the list of a string how do you retrieve all unique character across all string using linked so unique character hello world open ai so how uh, how uh, we can find the unique character from here let's by using select many and then using distinct this select many has uh, you know advanced query this one is uh, advanced linky dot as parallel or a parallel processing this select as many these are the advanced so h e l l h e l h e l l o is l and o o is common l is common e is not i is not so which one is not that is only printed h e l o r t p n a i okay l is present in two a string o is present in two a string e is present in two a string so it will have only one representation and a is present in only one a string i so it is printing only the unique character let's comment this let's move to the next segment how do you find the second highest value from the list of integer okay by using is uh, let's see we are dis uh, descending the order and skipping one record and then take the first uh, result set you can have this let's close this and let's run this again second highest value is 20 we see 20 that is first let's come and let's move to the next section that is 41 given list of object with hierarchical data parent child relationship how do you flatten the hierarchical into a single level collection using link let's see let's first uncomment this let's let's understand the data let's see we have a category class which definition is uh, these property we have that is id name and children so the children is the category type which have again list same thing the children have also id name and children so nested uh, nested kind of thing. so over here we we are uh, doing like id 1 category 1 and in that category we have two children that is id 2 and name is sub category 1 sub category 2 we have same thing for two and now how we can use a link queue that by using select many flatten categories flatten categories so function we are this so in this function what we are doing we are doing nothing category dot children is not null so if the category dot children is null then we are not doing anything if it is null then only we are iterating children and then again flatten category again going to the recursive this is recursive method so we are trying to uh, print a hierarchical structure so this uh, recursion will do the same thing it take uh, my parents then their child then again pass that child to the this function if uh, it will check the that uh, child have a child or not if not then it jumps to the next row so uh, let's go there and run this and see the result what will be so you have id1 category 1 id2 name sub category 1 sub category 2 and four category 2 and sub category 3 so these are the ones one have two category like that 
Okay. So let's close the list. Comment this. Let's move to the next section. How do you implement link query that perform recursive operation on a tree like a structure? Recursive operation uh, we had already seen right now. The same thing we have a, a node class. Node class which have a node also inside the list of node that is children. So uh, you can see we, we are defining uh, a node value 1 children is this and node value 2 that have also children but node value 6 that doesn't have a children let's see the sum of that calculated or calculates so this is the sum let's go to the calculated sum method what we are doing what we are checking the children is null or not then again select many child calculate sum Again, we are calling calculate sum child and then sum. And we are sum of sum. And one thing uh, try to remember when you are using e i enumerable, then uh, on a, if you are not using yield, if you are using return sum, it will throw you an error. You cannot uh, change i enumerable in integer to a integer to a i enumerable time. So, uh, we remember, use yield keyword to return your result. So, let's see in an action. We have already seen this example. Let's close this. Now, let's move to the next question. List. Given list of object with the date time uh, property, how do you calculate time difference? So, uh, how we uh, perform a time difference? So, this date time dot zip, this zip method. Zip method is what? This is a link method, and first or second is null. This, uh, the, the, this. You can see apply the specific function to corresponding element of full sequence, producing sequence of the result. So uh, what we are doing, we are skipping one and then passing this, and in a result, we are what we are doing next time is time minus current time is time. So uh, first, let's see uh, the output, and then you will understand what we are trying to do from the skip function and G. See, five second, five sec, five, 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 five minute, five minute, five, five second, five second, five second. So we have a time uh, date point. We have a time value is five, ten, fifteen. So what is the uh, you know time difference? Five second from this to this, five second from fifteen to twenty, five second. So three difference we have. Five second difference. If you uh, if you use here sixteen and run this, then the difference between 10 to 16 is 6 seconds, 5, 6 and 5. So see 5, 6 and 4. 4 because 16 to 20 is 4. Let's comment this section and uh, let's move to the next question. Question number 44. Let's uncomment this. How do you implement link query that performs sliding window operation on sequencing elements? Sliding window operation. This is also pagination converter. So window size is 3. We are skipping I. Select sliding window. Range. Range function is basically innumerable function. Innumerable method have a range which it, it will generate 0 to number dot count. How many numbers you have? Minus window size plus 1. That is 3 plus 4. Count is 3, 3, 6, 3, 9, 10 value we have. So it will have a 10 minus 3 plus 1. That is 4. So 10 minus 4, that is 6. 0 to 6, it will holding and it will shift some. Let's see. So, what the result is basically here. See. Select, skip and take. 
we are taking window size only three value so one two three now shifting from uh, first to second two three four from two to three so three four five four four two three two four like and so on we are over here one two three shifting from here count here first it will display this then shift one slide then this then slide one then this then slide one then this then slide one then this and so on let's comment this section let's go on a 45 so let's uncomment this one uh, given list of a string how do you find the common element across the multiple list so common uh, in a list common in a number we had already seen by using same intersect function if we have a two only two uh, two list two list then we can use till here only we have a three list so we are finding a common between list one and list two and according to the list three also so kiwi 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 is a common in two okay grape is a common in two no three so let's see the result and you will understand so most probably the result will be grape why because this is the common so first finding the common between these two these two common is banana and grape and now we have a third uh, uh, one new list which is holding banana and grape and from that banana and grape we are trying to find the common into a list three that is orange grape kiwi and pineapple from this we have a grape is common so grape will be the result this is producing one list and on that list we are trying to perform again intersect okay nested intersect we can see on 46 let's see uh, let's see uh, the question how do you implement link query to retrieve the nth element of the sequence based on some specific condition so we have a string like apple banana orange n equal to 3 we are trying to retrieve third element so order by we are we have we have a list and we are doing order by and then element of third minus one let's run this query and let's see what happened the grape is coming so grape is c first second third so first we are doing order by and then we are getting a third element okay let's comment this let's move to the next section that is 47 given list of object how do you perform group wise ranking based on the specific properties so group wise ranking let's see this we have group by then select many group by descending so group by student by subject order each group by a score their score how much a score they got and then assign the rank within each group so each group like math and science who, who is boss second third so let's run this query and you will see you will understand the query again so in a math group Dave is first Bob is second Alice is third uh, in a science group, Frank is first, Bob is second, M uh, Emily is third, like so. So, let's comment this section again. And let's move to the new question, that is 48. Let's comment this one. How do you implement custom link queue operator that combine functionality of multiple linking? So custom query. This one we are generating custom query. This is custom query. How we are generating custom query? So first we have x such that x is greater than two. Then we have x s such that x modulus two is equal to zero. Then we are selecting x 
into multiplying by 10. See the custom query which we have done. So we have a custom extension. We are uh, doing extension of that query, custom query. We have a two uh, function of uh, key type. That is what doing. Uh, if we have a condition, where condition, then it will come in this uh, extension. If we have only select, then it will come into uh, this section. So let's go to here. We have where condition in this section. We have where condition is this section. That is a select x where x is greater than 2. Select x where x modulus 2 is equal to equal to 0. And here select x by multiplying 10. So these two will be uh, calling this upper 2 extension method, this extension method. And below select 1 is calling this extension so let's see uh, in a action. So what what is the one two three four five? So it will have a result as a forty. Why forty? Because first x is greater than two. So the we have a new list that is three four and five. In three four and five only the even number is four, and uh, on that four we are multiplying four into ten. Let's comment this section. Let's move to the next question 49. Now see, uh, given list of object, how do you implement link query that retrieve a top end element based on a specific condition? Based, based on a specific condition on a specific properties. Now let's see. What we are trying to do, trying to uh, retrieve a top two element as per uh, department we are doing group by uh, employee by their department and ordering by their salaries and uh, we are trying to retrieve top two uh, salary holder of each department basically so this first group by grouping uh, all the all the record into a department and this select many is doing what group by their salary and take the top and on it top two. so let's compile this and see the so uh, for uh, HR, we have 5,500 Charlie salary, Alice salary is a 5,000. In the IT department, they have a 7,000 and Frank have a 6,500. Let's comment this again and let's move to the next section, question number 50. Let's uncomment this. So the question number 50 is, how do you implement a link query that perform a pivot operation uh, on a collection of object? Pivot operation, so we have a query like sales, we are grouping sales to the product and we are selecting what product of Q dot G dot key that key one of because of the group five, we have a product name, whatever the product that is coming here. And January, we are trying to, uh, this mean Jan, first or default, which month is January, amount is, if the amount is not, then as another zero. So, uh, let's see the result and you will have this pivot operation. So, see, uh, basically pivot means what? Transferring column into a row. So, product A, January 10, uh, January 100, February 200, March 150. So see, in, we have a record in a row wise, A, January 100, A, February 200, B, February 300, uh, 150. Same uh, product B, January this. So we are converting this row wise record to a column wise. Now product A, January 10, 100, February 200, March 300 like that we are converting this like to do pattern so this is row to column is private now let's comment this uh this video goes going uh, long and long so uh, let's see uh, question number 52 we have 53 uh, these, these are question which all uh, 100 question this 100 uh, all 100 question we are we will cover into a next video because it's uh, too long uh, right now so uh, whatever the question left out till 50 we had already covered this 
Till say, say, say oh, from here, how do you implement custom link to provider, complex join and aggregation, sorting efficiency, full text search? These are uh, basically machine learning query, NoSQL, uh, NoSQL database. So these query advanced query, which we will learn in next video. Uh, next video such as this external API, handle complex data transformation, hierarchical data, leverage parallel processing, this is P-Link queue, multi-threading we are doing. So handle complex event-driven architecture, uh, these, these question answer we will see into our next, uh, next video.